What's going on YouTube? It's r 32 Piffney. In this video, we'll be reviewing the legendary pulse rifle Claws of the Wolf that you can obtain from the Iron Banner. We're going to be covering all the rolls that you want to be looking out for today in this video and we'll be covering all the god rolls for both PvE and PvP, so let's get straight into it. So first and foremost, we must cover all of the perks that you can get on the Claws of the Wolf. So in the third column, you get Perpetual Motion, Snapshot Sights, Elemental Capacitor, to the Pain, Repulsor Brace, and Head Seeker. For the fourth column, you can get Zen Moment, Attrition Orbs, Disruption Break, Destabilizing Rounds, Kill Clip, and Rampage. So now we're going to jump straight into the PvE perks that you want to be looking out for on this weapon. So for the first two perks I'd be looking out for on this weapon, something like Repulsor Brace and Destabilizing Rounds, with Repulsor Brace being Defeating a Void Debuff Target grants an Overshield, and then when you pair that with something like Destabilizing Rounds, which is Final Blows cause nearby targets to become volatile, so this would be a good combo for like a Void build that you want to put on with whatever Void build you might be rocking. Keep in mind that I also have some Void builds here on my channel, you want to check those out, I have them linked down in the description below. Um, so yeah, next combo you want to get on this weapon would be something like Repulsor Brace and Attrition Orbs. So for Repulsor Brace, again, that would be defeating a Void Debuff Target, grants an Overshield. And then pairing that with something like Attrition Orbs, which is dealing sustained damage creates an Orb of Power. So this would be kind of like an Orb slash Overshield generating weapon with those two perks. So that is mainly the two sides for PvE. There's not very many PvE perks on this weapon as there is more PvP perks as this is more likely a PvP weapon. So let's hop straight into the PvP rules that you want to be looking out for on this weapon. So jumping straight into the PvP rules, the first rule that I have for you is something like Headseeker and Kill Clip, with Headseeker being Body shots landed with this weapon increase precision damage and aim assist for a short time. Body shots landed while the perk is active refresh the time and then pairing that with Kill Clip, which is Reloading after a kill grants increased damage. For our next roll that I'd suggest looking out for is something like Perpetual and Rampage, with Perpetual Motion being this weapon gains bonus stability, handling, and reload speed while the wielder is in motion, and then Rampage, which is kills with this weapon temporarily grant increased damage, which stacks up to 3 with the damage increase. For our third perk for PvP on this weapon, I would say something like Snapshot Sight with Zen Moment with Snapshot Sights being faster time to aim down sights. Then pairing that with Zen Moment which is causing damage with this weapon, reduces recoil and flinch over time. So this is kind of a snappy playstyle with those two rolls together. Um, Another role that I'd suggest as the cover rolls that have to deal with Headseeker. So the first Headseeker role would be obviously Headseeker, which again is body shots landed with this weapon, increased precision damage and aim assist for a short time. Body shots landed while the perk is active, refresh the timer. So with that you want to pair that with something like Zen Moment, which is again causing damage with this weapon, reduces recoil and flinch over time. So with Headseeker and Zen Moment together, this is kind of a interesting role that you would want to have for PvP. Like this is probably the role that I'd say you want to look out for. As you know, your Zen Moment will reduce the recoil, making the way you can get those headshots easier. And then feeding that Headseeker um, perk as well, where you can also get body shots and increase the precision damage. And you know, it's just such a great perk. So yeah, that is pretty much the PV and PVP roles to be looking out for here on Claws of the Wolf. And yeah, so if you found this video to be helpful, you just want to inform on some way, be sure to smash that like button down below. If you enjoy my content here on YouTube, be sure to smash that sub button down below. You can also find me over on Instagram at r32 underscore epiphany for more content made by me. Um, you can also find me over on Twitch where I'll be streaming sometimes, not always, but we're working on that. So yeah, with that being said, this is R3250 and I'll catch you next one, Guardians.